What's up everybody? My name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. Today we've got three of the most popular battery powered cordless outdoor cameras right here. Let's start with the Blink X-T2 right there. Second up is the Ring Stick Up Cam. And lastly, this thing's supposed to be a beast. We've got the Arlo Ultra. So we've got three of the most popular brands right here. These are super easy to set up. You basically put the batteries in them, connect them to your Wi-Fi, and you have a security camera system. It's that easy. Gone are the days of wiring and all the complexity. It's really simplified. And for the most part, these are pretty good. Anyway, we're gonna find out how good today. I know you're interested in the video quality, so that's primarily what we're gonna be focusing on. Before we do that, I just wanna talk about the specs real quick and we're gonna to get to the good stuff. So let's jump into it. So the first camera we're gonna check out today is this Blink X-T2. This is the second version of the Blink Outdoor camera. It costs $99 as a kit and that includes batteries, camera and sync module. You can see what's really unique about this camera is it's powered by off the shelf AA lithium batteries. They are included in the kit and should last for about two years. Once you click that back on, nice and tight, it is waterproof. This camera is capable of 1080p. It's got a microphone and speaker built in. It does require one single sync module, but one module can support multiple cameras. And what's really unique about this camera is there's no monthly cost, there's no subscription. The next camera we're gonna take a look at is this Ring Stick Up Cam battery camera. This is the third generation of this camera and it's powered by a lithium battery. This guy right here, you charge it outside of the camera, you drop it into the camera like this, take the back and lock it on, you're good to go. Now you can change the mount on this camera. Let me show you that real quick. So this camera is capable of 1080p. It's got two-way audio, talk and listen. The thing is you probably need a subscription for this camera, so that will cost you anywhere between $30 and $100 a year. So the last camera we're gonna check out today is this Arlo Ultra. This is a lithium battery powered uh, camera. This is a rechargeable battery, in fact, in this camera. You open up the camera like that. Here's the battery. It goes right into the camera and then you put the case right on. Really nice fit, feels really good. So they've come up with a really clever way to charge this. Here's the charger. So this camera is capable of 4K video, 180 degrees wide, which is actually the highest quality video of any of the cameras we're looking at today. Now it's got two-way audio plus a siren. It's got enhanced night vision. You can see there's an LED light right there. There's a spotlight on it as well. It does require a base station this guy right here so you have to have this inside your house now it does come with one year of arlo smart premiere which is basically the subscription after that first year it's between 36 and 60 dollars a year for the cloud subscription blah service. blah 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 yeah we love all those specs but what we really care about is video quality here's my setup let's see what the video looks like This is when everyone knows, right? Nighttime, best time. This is when everyone knows, right? Nighttime, best time.
All right, guys, it is time for the wrap up. Here's the result, and there's a little bit of a surprise here. The sleeper in this category was the Blink X-T2. I've used this camera before, but I didn't know how it would fare compared to these two other brands. And in my opinion, it actually gets the top rating. And the reason why is it's the lowest cost. It's the easiest to set up. There's no base station like with the Arlo. There's no subscription required. It just works. Now, if you're really looking for high fidelity video, you're gonna have to go with the Arlo Ultra. Now the ring, big disappointment in every way. It was slow. In fact, in some cases it wouldn't record. I actually have to kind of jump in front of it and do like, come on, wake up ring. So let me bottom line all that for you. Basically, I think the Blink X-T2 is the champion. The Arlo is good if you really need high quality video. And the ring, you saw. I don't need, I don't know what to say about that. Anyway, guys, if you want to find out more information about these products, there's links down below. You can also buy them on those links. Also, if you could, please make sure you like this video. I know you've already done that because why would you not? Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out all my other content. With that, guys, I gotta get out of here. See you soon.